In this video, I will show you how to set default currency in HighPress. HighPress is a directory listing plugin, and that is what I've used to create this website right here. For this particular tutorial, I'll have a link in the tutorial in the description down below. I use the HighPress plugin in conjunction with the listing Hive team from the same developer. After posting the video, my attention has been drawn to the fact that some countries may not be able to sell in dollars, especially if you are in Ghana. I happen to use dollars in this tutorial, so I am making this follow-up video in order to show you how you can set a default currency if for any reason you want to use your native currency. Hello guys, this is Sonic here at Tiku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. So to set the default currency in high price, I go over to the back end of my website. Then I go to listings. I click on attributes. In this tutorial, I created two different attributes for pricing. That is rent and price. However, I will just use one of those in order to show you how you can set a default currency. So to do that, I click on edit and under price. Scrolling down to display section. First of all, I remove the icon. So I'll just go to the top and choose this dash symbol. Next, I go to format. Now in here, there are two ways you can do it. You can decide to display price as a label. So for instance, if I come in here to remove icon and I enter label, then I go ahead and update. It is updated. Now if I go to the front end and refresh, you see that I have price. Meanwhile, the dollar sign is gone. However, you said you don't know what currency you are using. So I go back to the attributes, going down. In here, immediately before the value, I can go ahead and enter the currency sign I want. So I'm going to use Ghana CDs. So to get that, I hold down control key on my keyboard, then I press 155. Perfect. If I want, after the label, I can provide column, just like this. Then I go up, click on updates. It is updated. Now if I go to the front end and refresh. Now you see that I have price, column, and then the Ghana CD sign. So this is how you can achieve that. Now in the main tutorial, I didn't show the label. So if you don't want to show the label, all what you need to do is come right here. Then you go ahead and remove this, just like this. Then go up and update. It is updated. Now I go back to the front end and refresh. And you see that the label is gone. I only have the currency sign and then the amount. Take note that the reason why you still see dollar sign on some of the listing is that I indicated earlier that under attributes, I have two different attributes which are for price. One is rent and one is price. So the listings, you still see the dollar sign is for the rent. So similarly, if you want to change that, you can go ahead and do that as I did for the price attribute. Now on this website, I also set some packages that vendors need to buy in order to add their listings. And the currency for the packages were also set in dollars. So let me walk you through how you can change that into Ghana cities or whatever currency you use. I use WooCommerce to sell the packages. So in order to set the currency, I hover on WooCommerce, then I click on settings. And the general settings, you may want to enter your store address, going down, general options, I choose my selling location to specific countries. And in here, I go ahead and choose Ghana. Right here, going down to currency options, I drop down the arrow and the currency, then I search for Ghana cities. I have it right here, click on it, then I save changes. Changes is saved, so with this, users of my website will not be able to buy packages in Ghana cities. 
So that's it on how to set default currency in high price. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching, and I'll see you in the next one.